Hi, my name is Dallin with Daltron Printing. Last week I made a video about getting a clipper running on your old Android phone. This week, or today, I'm going to be going through just how to do that. Last week was that you could, because I couldn't find any information on it, so today will be how to do it the easiest way. Next week I want to make another video on doing it uh, a little bit more difficult, but you get things like fluid um, and potentially main cell if somebody went through and figured out how to do that, but uh, this this week you'll it'll be running through Octoprint. So all you need is an OTG uh, breakout cable or whatever. It's just something that makes it so you can charge your phone and plug into your printer at the same time. There are ways you can kind of uh, make your own, but I just buy one. They're, they're really, really cheap. Uh, of course, a cord to connect to your printer and an old Android phone. So let's uh, take a look at the phone and we'll install Octo 4A and uh, get Clipper installed. Or, Octo 4A is gonna have some issues. Recently, relatively recently had some errors, so if you run into these errors, I'm gonna walk through how to fix them. If you don't run into the errors, then lucky you and you get to keep going. So after that, we'll go on to uh, installing Clipper on it. So let's go over to the phone then. Okay, so when you first get onto your phone, you're gonna want to open up Google Chrome, type in Octo 4A there and click on the first link scroll down till you find releases and uh, download the latest APK now if it's your first time downloading an APK it might give you a warning saying it can't install an APK um, but it should give you some prompts to follow that in order to install an APK I'll just open that no existing installation detected, perfect, allow. You can enable or not enable, that's really up to you. Now this installation pro uh, process might take a minute and if they haven't fixed it yet, you will probably run into an error after this. Oh, okay, so that went really quick. But, uh, okay, open settings. You're, you're gonna wanna allow this app in the background as much as possible. Um, Android likes to close out of apps if it's not using them so now the installation says it's corrupted however you're going to want to leave it alone um, I haven't been able to get that to accept anything so we're just gonna leave that alone looks a lot better so it's gonna take quite a while So it says the Octoprint server is starting up, but it is bugged and probably not going to work first thing. However, I can open this now where before I couldn't. Um, so I'm going to install extra plugins. If you install, if you install this app and you can't open these up, you need to click through uh, this installation corrupted and actually retry because you need to be able to access here. And if you if it didn't do that, if you didn't do that, uh, if it didn't let you into here, then it is actually corrupted and you need to retry even though right now it shouldn't be corrupted. So what we're gonna, what we're gonna do is enable the SSH server again, set our password. Okay. Okay, so you've activated open SSH server on your phone. You've set the password to something you will remember and you uh, left the SSH port or set it either one. Now you're going to go onto your computer and you're going to SSH into it. Now if you've never used SSH before, you're going to need to install it on your computer, but I'm going to assume that you have and it's really not hard to uh, install. You're going to SSH and then you're going to root because that's the default um, username. And then you're going to type in the IP address of your phone. Now finding the IP address is something you should be able to figure out through your phone or through your router settings. I happen to remember mine, 8020, and hit enter. Now the first time you do this, it'll probably ask you to type in uh, the letters Y-E-S, just yes, so just go ahead and do that. Then type in the password, it's not going to show it just for security, uh, that's pretty much how all Linux works, at least to my knowledge, and I don't know a whole ton about it. So now we're going to run this command and wait for that to install.
Okay, now that that's successfully installed, <clears throat> and I, I got these commands uh, from their GitHub, which I'll post a link to the thread uh, in the description below. The next command you're going to want to run is this one. Then you're going to run this command next. And I'm going to do all because this takes quite a while. Then this is the next command. Uh, I tried running it without this um, space right here and it bugged, so you want to remember to get that dot with a space in between it. Now I don't know all that much about Python or Linux, so I'm strictly following the guide on GitHub. Okay, now that that's done on your phone, you're gonna to want to make sure that you've installed plugin extras. That will take us just a second. And then you're going to want to force close out of the app. So on my phone, it is like this, app info, force stop. And I'm just gonna close out of all that thing, those things. Now when you open it up, it should work. Just give it a minute to load. Okay, so now you can see there, it gives you the IP address of your phone and the port you need to connect to. And we're good to actually start using Oct Octoprint. So if you run over to your computer and you type in the um, IP address of that phone, I've done it a couple of times now, so the IP address and then the port that it gives you right there, right on your phone. Or you can, of course, do this from your phone. Once you've got it all connected and everything, it is a good, it's a good idea to probably go through and uh, connect your printer to make sure it is uh, able to connect. But for now, I'm going to go and install Clipper. Now on. On Octo4A's GitHub, they have an awesome little uh, Clipper support guide. So I'm just gonna basically run through this. And that's how we're going to get Clipper up and running on this phone. So first thing first, if you go back to your phone, you're gonna wanna go to this mod or extensions spot and check this remote web terminal. And then you can you can go into it, um, you can go into your phone by going here and then changing this from uh, 5000 to 5002. However, I don't think you can paste things um, when you're doing this and that kind of sucks. So I'm gonna actually just SSH into the phone because as long as you've set it up before, you can do that again or you can reset up SSHing and it's a lot easier. Then you're gonna take the command that it gives you on that, and of course I'll have everything linked in the description, and you're going to run that. Uh, yep, make sure of course you have plugins and uh, extra, plugin extras installed. So now, now that that's installed, please place your own config, yada yada. So now what we want to do is go back to the uh, OctoPrint and you're going to want to go over to Plugin Manager, Get More, and type in Clipper right here. And you want to install this Octo Clipper. Now that that's done, and you'll see that it wants to restart it. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and go into the app and restart it from there. So close it out, reopen it. And now you're gonna have this uh, Clipper plugin that you're gonna need to enable. Should just be able to refresh this because it should have restarted. Now it looks like we'll have to restart it. So restart Octoprint, proceed.
Okay, now that it's reloaded, you should see Clipper standby. And now you actually have Clipper installed. Of course, you'll need to connect to your printer. And how you do that is if you click Open Editor, it'll pull up, this is your uh, printer CFG file. And there's a couple of different ways to get this, get to here. Um, if you go to Clipper up here, and then Show Editor, you're in the same spot. Now, you're gonna have to get your printer config from somewhere, uh, probably the get the basic one from the Clipper repository on GitHub. I'll link that in the description below. I already have mine, I already have the one I'm going to use, and, but we do have to make a modification to it. So find out where, where it says MCU, and you're gonna need to change that from dev serial, whatever it is, to dev TTY octo 4A. Now this is of course in the GitHub um, OctoPrint setup, that, or GitHub Clipper setup that I'll link in the uh, description. And then we just save and close that and if it, it needs to restart every time you change uh, the printer config because this will actually change, yeah, so it needs to restart every time you do, you change the printer config or CFG. So restart Clipper. Clipper standby. So now if you show editor, you should see all this stuff. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my phone over to my uh, printer and plug it in, see if we can't confirm that it works. Okay, so now that you have have everything connected up, your three printers connected to your OTG, cable and your OTGs connected to your phone and charging your phone and everything you should just be able to hit connect and just like that we have operational uh, resend ratio looks good yeah just like that we have clipper connected to our 3d printer via octo 4a and octo print and stuff you can of course still add, uh, add in whatever plugins you want that you know are just native to um that are native to octoprint i'm not sure which ones work with uh octo clipper and stuff like that i haven't messed around with it nearly as much as i want to but that's the easiest and fastest way i know to do it. i know it's not exactly fast or easy of course you got to make sure you have your serial set correctly and everything but that is the way i know how to do it if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below please remember to like share subscribe or whatever oh next week or in the coming weeks i'm hoping to do another tutorial on how to get clipper running on your android phone but not using octoprint of course it'll still use octo 4a that's the easiest way i know how to do it there are other ways to do it but i have not been able to get to that, them to work so you'll still need octo 4a but you'll be able to use uh fluid so if you're wanting to use the fluid interface, next week's the video, or hopefully next week's the video for you. But it might take me a little bit longer because that one, getting that up and running is a little bit more time intensive. So thanks a bunch for watching. Remember who you are and make good choices.